without getting pushed out early, but I think this Pugna pick was specifically designed, or ban was specifically designed to, to set up a stronger Terrorblade game, so I do like it a lot. Can they make the Terrorblade work? Well, there is no real counter to Vichy Gaming right now. He is, like you said, an illusion-based hero, so his main weakness is heroes that can get rid of the illusions fast now. The one thing about Terrorblade's illusions compared to, I think, every single Remain. other illusion-based hero, I think he has the best illusions in terms of ingoing damage. It Five only takes 200%. Um, or it's, uh, it's additional illusion damage taken, but oh, that's a little bit unclear. But I believe these are tanky than most other illusion heroes, at least, like Naga Siren, uh, like the PL we used to have. Now the new PL is a little bit weird, but... I don't really know how it exactly works yet. And he's also unpickable, but... Uh, yeah, they're gonna grab the Sand King for FY, and I think this is a really good pick. When you're running into a Terra Blade and you don't have AoE damage, fix it. Else he will win the game alone, almost, like, if you can't kill the Illus, you're done. So, great last pick from Vichy, and... I think this time around, it's it's kind of swapped, uh, swapped around the teams, right? Because last game, if it went late game, you couldn't really see uh, OB winning it. Now, for me, it's the other way around. The amount of late game on the Radiant side is absolutely disgusting compared to the Dire. Yeah, if they can hit that perfect black hole, uh, uh, probably at any stage they get a shot, but just sitting at, at a certain point, it starts off against the crowd. And with that, we may have a level one clash. We'll try to introduce our teams here while we wait for it, shall we? And your Kunkka, Didi, about to walk up the hill as the Void. VG in position. How are they gonna do it? Oh, he pokes his head on five heroes waiting for him. Now the Barrage pick, that's gonna actually dodge through the arrow, it looks like, of FY, but well, the, will the follow-up matter? DD forced back. Nobody dies, but they forced out Shadow's more metamorphosis, so he won't have this for a decent chunk of that early waiting stage. And this is the longest cooldown non-ultimate in the game by a long stretch. I think the second highest one is Tombstone with 60 seconds, and this one's 140. I like to think of, a ter of Terrorblade as a hero that has two illusions, uh, uh, or two ultimates, rather. Uh, both Metamorphosis and Sunder, incredibly long cooldown on level 1. Uh, Sunder scales a lot better towards later on, but it's an ultimate that a lot of Terrorblades, at least in pub games, don't even skill on level 6, because it's so extremely situational and you don't want to get in close in the first place, but... In this oh, kind of game, FY. Really sent her. Oh. He picked up a double damage, but he's tanked an arrow from Long DD. That skirmish for the rune off the bat, ending poorly for Vichy Gaming. And of all heroes to feed a first blood send, they fed it to a void. Yeah, that's really obviously not a good start. And they're even going to counter ward here as well. OB getting off to a great start here. Mirana will have to find some way of getting mana, though. Long DD started without clarity. Okay, he's going to send one out in the courier now, so. He will be uh, refreshing himself and getting ready to fight somewhere else once again. And with 820 on that Shadow Demon, and just looking at the side laners for Vici Gaming, there's pretty much no one who will survive the gank of disruption into Arrow. Sand King can potentially avoid it, but everyone else will die. And that's kind of a luxury to have when you're playing the support duo, because often you're playing against one or two heroes who have, like, let's say, something like uh, a Time Walk on a Void or. You know, some sort of invisibility skill or whatever, but there is nothing on the Dire. Although yeah. what they did, did give Ice 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 a little bit of space. He did start in the off lane. I think he might change his mind soon. Yeah, for the time being, he's sending those conversions in to just kind of harass and annoy 820, but these supports are not particularly level dependent, so I do kind of agree with you that there's a decent chance we'll see him leap this lane. For now, though, he's trying to slow down Joe, and well, he is hanging around. Uh, I also want to point out that the Void made an effort not just to go, he walked up into the enemy jungle, he boarded off the, the standard stack spot for the Sand King, and then he even went the, the extra step of body blocking this camp as well. So he's been very hell-bent on just slowing down the FY Blink Dagger early on, and now he'll start to enter the lane and get his experiences. The bottom lane actually does get pushed in thanks to those denies, so it looks like Ice 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 will get a lot of early experience here, but has to be careful of that reflection into disruption combo. They're wrapping around the Marana. If they just can arrange for that initial slow, he's done for it. But uh, not gonna find really the surprising thing. He's a freak Maybe they're worried about it. Maybe not, actually. The conversions are there. Yeah, the body blocks, maybe. Yeah, that's a good... It's actually a good call from Moby, my bad. They they need to wait for the conversions to be gone. Ice 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 will easily block the arrow with those, so... 
Even Super's coming. Yeah, on the contrary, nice play here, but Long Duty doesn't have leap. He's dead. It's a level one Marana. They have disruption. A20 gonna disrupt him, but Ice 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 comes in. We'll clank him down. He just stops moving and gets off his stuff. But they might lose 820 as well. So these oh, tower dude, auto attacks. He doesn't have a south. No HP regen. No disruption. Two kills fed away to a roaming viper. <laughs> Great rotation from Super oh, as well man. to make that call. Moving to that bottom lane. Very, very nicely done. And they did see it with the sword. This puts Ice 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 in an incredibly good position. Not only has he not died for the first three minutes, but he's now level four. And he got a, all the experience for that Shadow Demon kill as well, so... He's looking really good. The, the small opportunity that Obi had to make the kill on the Enigma, they didn't take the chance until the conversions were out, and then when they were, they couldn't do oh, it. Oh, DD, he wanted the time walk out. Backtracks the stop, but not the double edge. Needed to backtrack both there. So I'll end up going down. I do want to point out on this top lane, Sin, since we were just looking at it, that Black is already at 14 to nice. Your Void is only level 2 despite getting the first blood. The and, uh, well, it was the first blood at the zero minute mark, I guess, so. Would have got experience. Shut down really but he's hard, getting shut down. The fact is, he kind of can't go to the last hit, uh, to the Creed Wave to last hit. If he goes in, there's a risk he gets silenced by Skywrath, and then he gets Burrow struck, and then he's dead with the combo, exactly like we saw there. Uh, like you said, he even got a little bit lucky, but still didn't survive it, so... They're going All in anything? for disruption. No, can't get in range. Good awareness from Super, and just really handy back, because... Ice 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 will probably feel like he can get more aggressive. Super is going to leave the lane and head to pick up a bounty rune. He'll claim it. He walks back into a long DD. There is a disruption arrow, but they need that third hero to get this kill. And without it, they'll just be forced back. So just looking at the Sand King status right now, Sin, there's only this camp that's been stacked. And fortunately, no golems. He's gotten lucky there. And they're looking for the dive bottom lane, but they just can't see it. Like, like, like. We thought he'd go jungle, but he's level 5 against the tri -lane. Finally, they get the disruption, but conversions in position to body block this. Not an easy kill. They'll slow him with reflection. They'll just do it with auto attacks and... In the end, they do end up getting the kill. The conversions get the counter kill, though, and look for a secondary one as long as he leaps away. You know, mid lane, the Kunkka will go down to a room from Fenrir. Oh my goodness. Even with the tri lane, they, they still can get two kills. I think full Life health to conversions alone. Oh, there was no Malefic even being used by Ice Ice there. That's just. That's just flat out misplay there, and pretty unfortunate because OB got off, just got the, ex the exact gank they needed in this bottom lane, but giving Ice 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 that bit of gold back is. Yeah. Kind like, of makes it a waste of time almost. Arrow? Not gonna land. Compare these off laners. Ice 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 is level 5.5, and, and he's also slowing down the Terra Blade. He's only got 28 CS. Your off lane Void, who got first blood, is 3 and 0 for CS, and he's level. Uh, sorry, he's level 3 right now. About to hit 4. And he's not even shutting down the Centaur. He's 33 and 26. But that off lane Enigma, it seems to be just such a reliable hero when Ice Ice Ice's hands. Be level six to six minutes in the off lane, which is really good. could have had the same amount of experience in the jungle, but and more gold, I think. But it's probably been worth just the amount of focus he's taken from the radiant. The thing is, if you abandon the off lane, you go into the jungle, the enemy supports obviously don't even need to deal with you, and then they could have roamed other lanes. And even though Ice 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 has died once down here, the trade off has easily favored him in comparison to going jungle. And he's also preventing Terrorblade from getting complete free farm. Enigma is actually extremely good against solo heroes. Uh, a hero like Terrorblade can't stand in, against him one-on-one -on -one in lane, so... If they don't move the supports down here again... He's gonna lose the lane. Yeah, for now CS is not that good. One denies as well, and I as well. Yeah, that's impressive. Meanwhile, Sanky has finally started to stack. They've got three points in X. They can go in on Super, but backup may be coming soon. Boats are flying through as well. It's a big one, but the follow-up isn't there. Even with the double damage, Soulcatcher already now used very late into the engagement. Stampede now can turn this. FY charging forward. Who's he going to go for? On to 820. The Viper back into the fray. Disrupted and held in position for a time, but... Well, even through that, he'll end up going down afterwards. Another cleave attempted. Super still surviving. And Black will... Just continue to farm that top lane out. So they lose their Shadow Demon, they commit a lot, and once again just fall short. It looks like... Today so far it just looks like Beachy Gaming is on a different tier, and I think it's what we expected, that they were the favorites, but... Still not the best showing from OB. I think their early game support performances, and in this game the previous one, kind of left something to be desired. It, 
They've made a couple of misplays. They haven't really been effective enough. They found two kills in seven minutes with a Shadow Demon Marana against arguably a lineup that should be really easy to gank in multiple lanes, but just haven't really accomplished that much. And as a result, they've lost all three lanes, I want to say. Yes, Terrorblade is getting good farm, but compared to how I feel like this lane could have gone, I want to call it a, a three-lane win for, for Vici Gaming. They're ahead by almost 4,000 gold and 3k experience seven minutes in. That's generally... I don't have an exact stat for this, but just off the top of my head, I feel like it's very rare that teams come back. Even from a, a lead at this point, I think it's like an, maybe an 80% or more win rate with this kind of start, so they really have their work out for the... Yeah, and they're about to get the big item, the Blink Dagger on the Centaur. To go along with that FY, despite this camp being blocked off early, he made the best of it, he stacked this one, and uh, now he can farm it again. This, I think, is the second time that he's farmed this camp. We saw him doing it earlier. And with this going down, he's going to be very close to his own Blink, about to get his Epicenter online too. And this is despite the Voids manually body blocking one camp, Sentry Wardy another. FY just find his farm regardless. Uh, and you have to expect Vici Gaming will be very aggressive as soon as Black grabs his Blink and the Sand King picks his own up. So it's not just that they have the good starts in, but they have items coming which will have them big uses. As they go in mid lane on Shelly, a boat to try and keep himself alive, but Viper just keeps on pounding away at him. Oh, manages to plank him down, and Super gets a nice kill there in the mid lane. And with that, Fenrir is getting close to level 6 as well, and they have some great setup for the Mystic Flare. They've got Sand King Stun, they've got Black Hole, uh, Centaur Blink Stun, Malefice is even pretty decent when it gets leveled up. Ice 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 currently is level 2, but it's a 1 second stun on level 4, which is enough to land a fairly good Mystic Flare. And even the Viper Strike uh -oh. with that is PD. extreme slow. Caught up, caught up top lane, Silence can follow this, yeah, they'll stamp it, and then they'll follow up with the double edge, just to make sure they get that kill. The death of the offlane void. He has managed to hit level 6, and he is getting close to Tread, so that's something at least. Well, on the bottom lane, Ice Ice Ice, he's trying to fight against this Terrorblade Illusion. Constantly pushing in, Long DD also being pursued out mid. Super, not able to finish him off, but does a lot of damage to him, and continues to farm. 1400 gold. I'm imagine we'll just see that early point booster for him. He may go down here, though. Disrupt, or, or not disrupt, an X into Torn, into Vote, everything for Super, and it's enough, enough to get the kill. A much needed kill for them. Yeah, they had Crossfire as a proven, I think. I'm pretty sure DD was level 5 uh, or level 6 when he came in there. Just because the level 7 now, so. Yeah. <laughs> At least one return kill going the way of OB. They definitely need this right now, and. If they. I think the, the way to play this game for them right now is. They still have, I think, a couple of smokes, actually. They have one on the Marana. They have one uh, restocking in 20 seconds, and. Just getting one or two crucial kills right now will buy them some time. And Terrorblade is still a great pick in this game. I still consider mainly Sand King his opponent. And he, although he will have his blink now at 10 minutes, Sand King will not be able to deal with Terrorblade on his own in a 40-minute in a game, for example. So they need to buy time and get him there. And I think getting just a couple of key ganks early on will at least secure them a little bit of... Uh, at least a couple of minutes, I want to say, with, uh, with a couple of kills to get Joe to where he needs to go. Yeah, so basically buy him some breathing room, it sounds like. Well, we'll see if they can get that. Breathing room is going to become a, a rare commodity, in, yeah. from my point of view, with these double flakes. Not to mention Fenrir is about to level 7 on that support Scarab Mage. He's really had a powerful start this game. And your Sand King is getting his levels as well. Whereas you look at these Radiant supports, both of them only level 5. Now you see FY Sand King gets the level 3 Burrow. He did go back for the third point in Sandstar, making his jungle more efficient. Uh, but we'll delay the, the max rank Burrow. We'll see if they jump 820 here. And if they get this kill soon. They've got an Enigma position to take a tower. But meanwhile, mid lane, there's been a Chrono Spear on a Super. He's gone for a Vitality Booster. Not sure if that's enough to tank up through all of this damage. Ice 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 just seconds late. He can up the Black Hole, but there's zero backup. He's probably going to pay for this as well. Uh -oh. X was used right as the Stampede comes out, but he's going back into Terrorblade's damage. Oh, the, ti the timing not quite right for the Torch. Still DD. Time walks in. Instant stun with the Bash. Now the turn can come. Black in. Epicenter through. FY connects on two. OB possibly losing three. A bleep out from Long DD. Trying to run. There's no Pearl Mod, but there is a Blink. It is some auto attacks. Long range double edge. Secures that kill. A three for two exchange in the end. M melee range. <laughs> yeah, questionable. <laughs> I 
great call from Vici though. I, I really like that they that they chose to go for that fight anyway. Even though they lost two heroes, they still realized oh, that in that cool. situation they could take this fight going in from the back with all the cooldowns on the Radiant. And Black with a great dual stomp, as well as the double edge, securing some kills. He's even going to go in DD now. Oh, he backtracked the double edge with level one backtrack. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Black. He's even getting bashed now. Who's going to win God. this one? Oh, oh my God. God. So oh, my HP. God. <laughs> Ooh, how lucky can you get DD? That sucks, oh, he man. did have big balls right there, that's for sure. Even Me going for it after the backtracking the double edge seemed like a risky play, but... Meanwhile, yeah. Shadow Demon just, just gets dominated by this Skyrath Mage Viper duo mid lane. All I needed was the Ancient Seal and a couple of auto techs. Down will go, and now Vici look to push this lane in. They are still building towards the mech. The Buckler recipe picked up. The Headdress now online. And we're just going to see these heroes tank up, it seems, as far as your cores go for Vici. They've got their blinks. Now they just want to be able to five man, take fights, and and then take towers after that. And we'll see Fy and Black smoking up, heading straight down the bottom lane. I think they'll be a hunting for Zhou, who is keeping his farm up sent and now pulling very far ahead. He was once getting out farmed a lane by the centaur, but now he's a solid 30 CS up. So not someone they want to leave unchecked. Yep, and uh -huh. they won't. Oh, show. oh, that's not good. Pro straight comes through from FY. Stop. Double edge. Can he get off of the ult? Oh, no chance. Did have mana for it anyway. For it anyway. It's really expensive on level 1. It's a 200 mana ability. Uh, which I think is also the reason a lot of players would like to not get it early on, because most of the time, one can modify our all good Corona from DD. Torrent, and, and the boat can follow this up. The boat was held quite a long time, but perfectly timed. We'll secure them that second kill. And that's well worth it. You're losing your Terrorblade. Still still in a good overall trade, and they jump in further. Looking for Super here to get the bash again. DD, he does have a level 3 bash, so that's to be expected to some extent. Disruption, turning around at the nick of time to save him from the Mystic Flare. The nuke was used on the round hero by Fender, but he gets off one more. Will there be a backtrack? Backtrack. Backtrack. Gamble it? He is going to gamble it. He could have suicided to the neutrals. No RNG there. Yeah, they got the Scarf Bitch killed him as well. So. <laughs> and they're chasing for more? I have so much confidence in backtrack from that play. I am so good at this hero. We're like, Blink into initiate from FY. Burrow Strike came through. But now they're forcing Ice 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 off the fight. Shall we? Mike and Kotha. Stop. Double Edge. Terror Blade. With the Metamorphosis damage, pounding it back, the kick off, shall we? He's gonna end up surviving, this TV's out of control, they need to shut him down. He gets a double kill, call me on the tower, he does have his ulti, but he's got nobody to use it on, can't get a rage. Silenced at the final hour, he'll end up going down. They lose two of their key heroes there in the end, shall we? will escape. And a big swing there, overall still favoring the Radiant pretty heavily. They just managed to pull back this game completely. Just when they needed it, they really stepped up their rotations and their teamwork here. Especially the Chronospheres and the, and the boats from uh, from Shout here have been really on point. And now I'm starting to worry a little bit for Vici Gaming. They had such a great start. Now that it's pulled back to zero and, um, and Joe is starting to find some really good form in the Terror Blade, they kind of have a clock ticking here. And, one thing they could do is try to get Roche, but they don't have Medallion, and just with Enigma and with the new Roshan pit, I think it's difficult. This is what you would usually do in 681, but at this point, it's a too risky play, and if you look at the Radiant lineup, if you get caught in the pit by this combo, your whole team is just gone, so... They're probably gonna try to play it safe here, and... Get especially the mech on Ice Ice Ice, I think, is the biggest item pickup they can get right now. This is a 16-minute mech. And we're starting to see the price they've paid for not putting him in jungle here. Uh, he kind of had to go for treads in the lane, he felt. Oh, that FY. He went this Pearl Strike. He's got caught in the Chrono now as well. Only hit an illusion. FY with a rare miscue as the boat smashes the face of Super off the planet. They blast him away. Now they look for more on Fenro. He's at the next. He'll be pulled back in. Epi still pulling down. Can't even use that. It's a great Pearl from FY. That time hitting four heroes. He'll still lose this guy's mates. So far, two for one. Now make it a two for two. Ice 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 casually strutting through. Now a two for three. Vici gave me recover the fight and look for that fourth kill. FY another Burrow in. He's isolated long TD but has no backup for this. And there is. Burrow soon. And does he? Oh, he does have the mono with the stick charges. Yeah. They're chasing. Kill. Uh, arrow though. Maybe not, not enough to keep him out. A couple auto attacks. Ice 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 should arrive just to type the Malphys. And it will go the way of F. No. Nope. Leap. Leap. Okay. <laughs> One more Malphys tech. Just enough damage. <laughs> So, in the end, it, it does go the way of Vici, but Tower went down, 
For the Radiant. Did you see if it was Radiant's denied? I don't think it was. Um, not sure. But that was such a close fight by A1 Fenro. One point that I, they were two against four pretty much right there. Get a three or four man stun from, uh, from FY and the follow up. The perfect Mystic Flare on. I think it hit Terra Blade only. And because of that, he was actually taken down there, and that kind of set the set the pace for the fight for the comeback there from, from Beachy. So, playing really well under pressure here. They've pulled a lot of it back now, and we'll see now with the mech on Ice 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 and Super picking up a cloak. I think their team fight just got a hell of a lot stronger. Uh, there's there's much more pressure when the fights break out on Ob to execute their combo perfectly because I think if you just do a decent one right now, you're not going to kill any of these heroes anymore with a mech and a, and a cloak on the viper. Not to mention as soon as the chrono ends, you can just stampede them away unless there's yeah. an X to pull them back. So, Vichy gonna have that reset option, and they will smoke now. They dropped a sentry just to ensure that there's no observer ward in the lane, and there's not. And they'll make their way down towards the bottom room. They can grab a bounty in here; won't be spotted by the radiant. Nice 86 gold into FY's pockets. He is building towards an X, and we sometimes just see the Veil as that first big safety down to our four staff, but after the blink. Oh, here we go. Wait, two hero pearl. The follow up stop. Mystic Flare's there, dropping the blow. Brady one down, long DD. He'll kill it off on the outskirts of this. The boat comes through. ISIS still has black hole, and I'll use it on DD, pulling him back in and killing him off in the end. The void will end up falling. Epicenter was here. Ice 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 will fall. A nice cut to crit though, shall we? Potentially turning this fight around in the other direction. They try to deal with Super on 2 hero torn. Shall we with the big play, but an even bigger 2 hero bow from FY comes in again. They're gonna lose 4, make it 5. And that was a dieback from the Shadow Demon as well. 6 that in the end. 6 for 2 overall. Radiant really crisp pick from The opening there from, uh, from once again, Fenrir and FY with the Burrow Strike. Mystic player combination just get two kills right off the bat and even though it's a great turnaround from the Radiant They don't have enough oomph when they've lost two heroes right in the start They basically turn around and fought a three versus five and almost managed with the buyback, but this is incredibly expensive right now and they're I think we're reaching the point now when when Joe would have liked to have a lot more farm He's still building the classic uh, terrible build where you go drum into probably Mantis style and then sky but one thing that's very important for this hero is he is not that good at playing from behind. He needs the map under his control to farm effectively with the illusions. And when the lanes get pushed in and you're constantly under pressure, you don't really know where you can go, especially considering the dire vision right now. Really good aggressive wards right here. He can get killed by Sand King and Skywrath alone. This duo can kill him from full health by just using... Not even using Epicenter. I think Burrow Strike and Skyrath ult is enough, so... Maybe with the Manta, he can Manta out and get his ult off, but he's still got to complete farming that first. Uh, Manta out of the silence, I should say. Sin, I do want to take a moment to point out just how ridiculously farmed FY Sand King is. He is 7, 2, and 10, and he's got 7,800, almost 7,900 net worth. He's the most farmed hero on his team, and he's not far off the enemy terribly. This is, his, in theory, a 4 position Sand King. FY has just gotten enormous this game. And we're actually gonna see an egg for him, assuming he wants to complete it. Hell, oh, maybe he should go Scotty and go for the carry sand team. <laughs> I'm wondering oh what God. the reasoning is with getting this over Veil, vale, because you see in most cases that Sand Kings will prefer Veil. Vale. If you do the math, it makes your ultimate way more potent than the, uh, than the axe upgrade. You simply do more damage. But, of course, the axe gives some really good stats as well, so... You can make an argument for, uh, for both sides, or for both builds, rather, and... Hmm. I I personally think Vale would have probably been better here because it's not just about Sand King, it's about his team, and he actually amplifies a lot of their abilities with Vale too. Viper has a lot of magic damage, Earth is a no-brainer of Sand King as well. Well even Enigma has a, some good magic damage, so But he is going for that uh I think maybe he gets both, honestly. Are they gonna jump top blade now? The arrow didn't connect and they're just sieging the tower for the time being. That Terra Blade really laying into the tier 2 top, and it will end up falling denied by the Viper though, but Super May paid for this. He's trapped on the chrono, stop comes through, connects on 2, is it enough? Blinking as well from the from the Enigma, popping his mech, it's still not quite sufficient to save Super. No black hole for a few seconds, and with that, they'll try to stagger the retreat. F1 out of my head, doesn't have an next Burrow Strike, there's a time walk into the trees, DD now going for the TP out, force that, stop is there, great awareness for Black, predicting that movement perfectly, and Able to finish him off, but they're not done. F5 will find more. He borrows strikes. They're killing off Shao and Sand King, and the rest of the team will make their way out. So in the end, turns out to be a two for one. Your axe is now complete. And FY, he's starting to really pull ahead of his team. 9k net worth to the centaur. 
<laughs> this is getting. I've ne I've seen sand kings that are like close to their enemy. They're, they're out of three position, maybe even the two. But FY, he's not a four position any longer. So this is officially a hard carry sand king. Blink in the burrow strikes there. He sets up another. He's been involved in twenty out of twenty eight as a friggin sand king at twenty minutes. Six. Team. Jeez. Oh my god, that's what a player. Crazy. And they're getting the axe now. He can pretty much. But he's just picking them off. 20 has no respect for him. Shows himself on the high ground. Let's FY walk up to him. And just gets. Oh no, FY did kind of use the tree line here, so it wasn't super obvious that he's coming, but. Uh, he's just picking them apart. Uh, the Mantis Isle has been completed for Joe here, so that's an important important item. And if you disregard the two kills that just happened mid, I think Obi won the last two. Uh, another one. They got Come two, on. Two, two, not again. <laughs> not again. Just how is this still working? Like, how can they keep doing Okay, that's just, that? that's basically just a feat. Three feeds. times in a row in the mid lane. There's like five oh, heroes okay. off the map. You just saw these two. I mean, some of these are, are literally just FYP fed kills more than anything, but that said he's had some great pearls in the team fights as well. Oh, he's really closing in on the terror plate. To make this kind of mistakes. They, they're too good for this, to be honest. I'm really surprised to see it. I mean, it might be the old boys, but the dementia here is really, really too strong in that team. That's, they have some kind of unbearable. <laughs> they have some great new treatments, treatments for Alzheimer's soon, so. Yeah. Hopefully those will be provided soon to the old boys. They have the money for it. Between Joe's TI2 victory and, well, especially Xiao Wei's TI4. <laughs> he should be able to fund the entire wanna, team's medical treatment. Might want to grab some of those masks, but yeah, they... Effectively, they just lost... Uh, I don't to have to be a good Always ready. They had this entry in the lane. They just can't catch a break. The boat will connect on two. Black Hole is there, though. Ice 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 leaping forward with his Blink Dagger right past the boat. Now the Abbey can come through. Goes on to A20. That's all he gets is he's disrupted, but no animation for it. Then Burrow's third finishes off long. Did a double kill for FY? Man, that damage with the extra pulse is too much for dead. Peachy Gaming. It, just, it might be over since. Honestly, it's they've got the late game. About how Ob were starting to pull back after they they got a good fight, then they got the tier two top that they sacrificed two heroes for. But in the last three minutes, they've sacrificed eight heroes and two towers. And you know, to be bluntly honest, the first kill was was okay, right? The void got caught out, and then they kept falling for the same trick three times. Then they lost their tier two, and then I don't want to say they fell for the same trick in the top lane because they were actually on the top lane. The potential was there. And they lost even more, and yeah, you're right. I mean, they kind of are falling for the same trick at this point. Everybody just keeps a running with Blake Dagger. If he doesn't even have a force staff, I just jump with them. Oh my goodness. He ends this game as the most harmed hero in the game. A, a, a jungle sand king who roamed a lot early. His jungle was warded as well, mind you. He was not able to stack his big camp. His Blake Dagger was still at a good time. He ends this game the most farm, probably the most leveled as well. Uh, yeah, level 17 Sans King. He wins every category. It's outside of 